Everybody say they clean, but we need to make sure that, you know, the bathroom, that's straight. That's simple, right? Simple cleaning, you know, clean that up. We good. Over here, uh, that's simple. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. I prefer them to take the sheets off and put them on top of the bed rather than leave the sheets on there. You know what I'm saying? That lets me know that they used it. And it's easier for me to just come in here and just uh, pull it right off the bed and we good. We go right upstairs. We wash it. But obviously, you know what I'm saying? This is like cookie. I'm glad that's cookie and not something else because that looked like something else. But so obviously the kids was just running around. There's cookies, you know, a sticker on the floor, you know, crumbs on the tables, stuff all over the floor. Now, this isn't just like stuff laying on the floor. Like this stuff is like, in the floor, you know what I'm saying? So it had to be there for, you know, a couple of days. Plus it shows that they were probably coming in here with wet feet and like, you know what I'm saying? So this ain't a, this ain't your average cleaning. Somehow they got water on the floor here. This ain't your average cleaning. They got stuff everywhere. I've been, I've been to a cleaning before where, you know, they got stuff like, what is that? Like, how can you just leave a place like that? I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to leave stuff in the refrigerator, that's cool. I'll dispose of it. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. What we got in here? Some grapes, some leftover food, you know? I'll dispose of it, but just... Just for you to just straight up, just leave it like that is just mind boggling to me. You know, everything is like cemented to the ground. It's like nothing is just, just laying on the floor. So like, come on. So make sure your cleaners are cleaners that are gonna get, there's a Band-Aid on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Look at all the, like, make sure your cleaners are gonna, don't just hire a cleaner cause she look cute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This ain't a, this ain't a cute job. Let me see if I can get some more light. This ain't a cute job. You can't even really see it on it. They got stains on the uh, arcade machine, fingerprints off, you know? I'm just now getting here. It's like seven o'clock at night. And, um, yeah, we're not hiring cleaners because they got a pretty logo. We need to make sure that, like, this is a, this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm expecting to just come in here and just, eh, 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 wipe down, we change the sheets, wash, dry, you know what I'm saying? Dust the TV and we out. This, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be here for a minute. You know, so you know you got to make sure they get under the couches. We're not just sweeping right here, right here. Oh, it's clean. No, we got to get under the couch. Obviously, I'm going to have to pull this couch back. Is your cleaners pulling couches back? Like, if I ain't pull that couch back just now, come on. Really? And then what happens is... Stains on the sofa. What happens is your cleaners say, oh, yeah, I cleaned it. Then a guest checks in and for whatever reason, <laughs> pulls the couch back and sees a cookie underneath the couch. Come on. Now you're getting four or three stars because there's one cookie underneath the couch because your cleaners is not just doing a little bit extra due diligence. Like, this is a clean... Dang, they broke the game. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the kids had an amazing time, and that's what this is here for. So make sure you don't have any, um, like valuable items in the crib you know you don't want anything that costs thousands of dollars i'm pretty sure we paid probably 20 bucks 30 bucks for the games i used to have monopoly games connect fours i don't recommend monopoly i don't recommend connect four why because of these little pieces that all it takes is look we back here with it we didn't even see that we gotta go all the way back here with it you know, is your cleaner peeping this? I'm peeping it because I know, I already know what I got to do. This is a deep clean right here, you know? 
So for a four bedroom unit, you know, depending on what your cleaners are charging you, I would say with my experience and you have a four bedroom unit, you should not be paying no more than $190. And that's somebody that's taxing you. But guess what? With that $190, they better be doing a deep clean that I'm about to do right now because this is worth $180, $190 right now. No question about it. Plus, I got to clean out the refrigerator, the freezer. You're lucky it's not 200. A four bedroom unit, 200 max. If anybody's charging you over 200, then come on now. You know what I'm saying? They say that they, oh, we deep clean every single time. You're not deep cleaning every single time. No, they're not because you don't get these type of cleanings all the time. You know what I'm saying? These cleanings come probably once every two, three weeks. You know what I'm saying? Once a month, you're going to go into the crib and it's just like, damn, you know? Um, so obviously all this, basically what I'm getting at is all this got to come out. All this got to come out. Clean everything, sweep everything, mop everything, like all of this. Fingerprints all on the, you know what I'm saying? Blinds broken. So Xbox controller missing. Like, are, are, are your cleaners coming in and being like, do they know, okay, damn, I need to make sure that there's two remotes, because there's two remotes to go to this TV. It's super, super, super lame, but it's two remotes to go to this TV. Do your cleaners know, okay, before I leave, I need to make sure there's two remotes. What if there's just one just chilling like that, and your cleaner come in like, oh, okay, it's clean. No, we missing a whole nother remote. That's the, that's the message that you're going to get on Airbnb. That's the one complaint they're going to have. We love the place, but my family couldn't watch TV or play Xbox because the controllers were missing. Three stars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They just had an amazing time. Okay. See, the thing about this is they put it over there, but I guarantee you if I was to open that up, pieces are missing, uh, cards are broken, um all types of crazy things now the only game that i would recommend is like like um jumbo games like jumbo checkers you know what i'm saying this isn't just um regular checkers like small games like that because they're gonna lose those pieces jumbo checkers jumbo chess you got the jumbo uno or jumbo regular cars you know things like that things that can be easily found in the Airbnb, because if I would have had the little playing cards, come on, those would have been all over the floor right now. You know what I'm saying? So just jumbo checkers. Now, the only game, you know what I'm saying? Don't get connect for. Guess who is straight, but they're going to lose those pieces. You know what I'm saying? Monopoly? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? The money's going to be, I'll be finding money in the bathroom, money upstairs, all type of crazy things. The only game I recommend is getting Jumbo Games and Twister. Twister's the ultimate go-to. And I don't know why I don't have the Jumbo Twister. I think we got it at the other Airbnb. But Jumbo Twister, why? Because it's only one piece. It's actually two pieces. You got the mat that comes out. The mat can go right here on the rug. And you got the little spinner. Boom. You're good. How they going to lose? Now, if they lose two pieces, then I don't even know what to say about that. But... In my experience, um, two-piece games, something jumbo. Okay. Okay. That's another thing, right? We just found the Xbox controllers with the batteries. Now, that's another thing. Like, most cleaners will just come in here. Most cleaners will just come in here and... Like, just like clean this area, but they don't know, like, no, you got to open every drawer. You got to open every drawer. You got to open every drawer. Open every drawer. I'm going to show you why. Open every drawer. Like, some people will just clean down here, clean right there, put the dishes away. Okay, I'm, it's clean. No, you have to open every drawer. Every cabinet has to be go open. Why? Because you don't know what they done broke, that they hide in. You know what I'm saying? The, who knows? The kids probably broke something. They don't want to say mommy and daddy, so they hide something in the drawer. You got to open the oven. 
You know what I'm saying? You got to open the microwave. Everything gets open. You know, parents breaking wine glasses, <laughs> hiding wine glass. Like, come on. I didn't see it all. We got more stickers on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Food all the way back there. What's that? Potato chips and a waffle or something like that. So they got to open every drawer. Oh, real quick. Why you got to open every drawer? First of all, you just want to get a good... I'm not saying sit here and count every single piece, but now I need to be able to open this drawer. Uh, okay, it looked like everything is there. We good, all right? What's going on over here? We got a little... You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? What they doing down here? Uh, okay, that could be a little organized. That's another thing. Are the cleaners organizing or are they just throwing stuff in the, in the cabinets? You know, that's another thing. What's going on over here? So these guests that made them. All right. All right, let's let's peep what's going down over here. Cause sometimes they'll add stuff to your Airbnb like this peroxide is not mine. This baking soda is not mine. Now this is my vinegar. Keep two vinegars in a cut because um you know vinegars good for cleaning and goes back to ancient time and you get it vinegar vinegar is real good for you put vinegar in the um in the disposal like you know what i'm saying and then you hit it with the and then that you gotta do that like and you'll smell it too, that vinegar. Now that vinegar is cleaning those blades, you know what I'm saying? It's like giving the blades a bath, you know what I'm saying? How often do you give your blades a bath? You know what I'm saying? Vinegar will do it. And you can put vinegar, damn, I'm stuffing it in the water. You can put vinegar in the um, AC too. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. But yeah, just, just open it up to see what's in here. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the microwave. You know, sometimes cleaners will forget things, man. They don't open up the microwave. They forget the microwave. I, like, I got dishwashing soap in the cabinet with the cups. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? You know what I'm saying? You have to be, put that down there. You got to be vigilant, you know? So, um... Let's see if we can get some light out here real quick. Oh. Put all on the tables. Oh, shit, this is $200 cleaning. You know what I'm saying? $200 for sure. The person is gonna get they 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 money's worth and you're gonna get your money's worth because bro this whole house needs to be clean right now we out here in the pool i didn't turn the pool lights on yet but i like to keep the little basketball and the volleyball and the little tennis ball in the bucket so obviously we got to do that look like a butter knife over there looks like the grill to my um the grill brush that i use to um Clean my grill is over there. I gotta get that. The pool, the pool stick is over there. I gotta get that. You know what I'm saying? So another thing is, if you if y'all got a heated pool, sometimes you gotta go out there and stick your hand in the pool just to make sure the pool is is still warm. Like we have guests checking in tomorrow, so our guests checked out today, and uh, we have guests checking in tomorrow. So obviously we came to knock out the cleaning, but the person tomorrow asked for a heated pool. So I'm not just gonna come clean the unit and then just dip. I need to stick my hand in here. See, this water is cold right now. It's not warm. This heated pool is supposed to be on right now. And the water level is a little low. 
So now I got to go out here and see what's up with the heater. Why would I just leave knowing that the guests tomorrow need a heater pool? What I'm going to say when they hit me up? Oh, I'm sorry. It was on yesterday. Boom. Three stars. Two stars. Let's see what's going on real quick. All right. So some of the problem could be because my heater's on 87. I need to crank it up. 95 is the, um, is the max. So that could be my problem there. 95, boom, right? So that could have been my problem. Okay, boom, the fan just kicked on. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Your, your cleaners have to be vigilant. Like they have to be, they have to like be proactive. You know what I'm saying? So now tomorrow, guess what? We're not gonna get no message saying, "Oh, the pool's not heated out. It could be heated. It could be heated. It could be heated hotter." You know. And then tomorrow you send somebody out here just to find out it was on 87. No, turn it up. All right. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not about to clean on the video, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just showing y'all real quick. We're gonna go upstairs and call it a wrap because we already have. 16. Yeah, 16 already. Right, we already peeped all that. Go upstairs real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, get one of these thermostats. The reason why I say get one of these, because you can control it from your iPhone. Or oh, it don't have to be the same one. Any thermostat, basically a smart thermostat. Any smart thermostat that you can connect to your phone because when these people go on vacation, they putting that temperature to 65, they don't care. That's not their house, they on vacation. Plus they pay good money. So they are gonna disrespect the AC all day long. You connect it to your phone, you get to monitor that. You know what I'm saying? When they go down to 65, I go back to 75. When they go to, they try to go all the way down, 65, it's not working, it's not working. They do the 65, I let it sit on 65 for a little bit so they feel that they win, then I put it back to 75. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this is this the bedroom stuff. So yeah, simple clean, we know we gotta do that. That's cool, they can, they can do that all day long. Bathroom, you know, simple wipe down. That's clean, that's regular bathroom stuff. Oh yeah, get a dispensary too. The one that got the soap up there, it's a lot easier than having bottles in the crib because they'll disrespect the bottles too. So obviously this is the washing we got to do. Try to try to get your own container and put soap in it instead of leaving like, see they bought this themselves. But if you can, try to get soap where you put it in a container so you don't put a name brand on it, just put soap. You know, because I've tried to do the Tide Pods and all that, trying to be cute, and they just, they're going to disrespect the Tide Pods all day. Simple things. Okay, this is easy. Whatever, whatever. Change the sheets, change the bed. All right, we got that. Stuff on the floor. Stuff on the floor. Stuff on the floor. What's going on with the light? We are, we're missing the remote control. You know what I'm saying? So now we got to go on a hunt for a remote. All right, see what's in there. All right, got our, got our um, Incredibles room here. All right, what's going on in the closet? Boom, they put two chairs. Uh, okay, at least we know what's in there. Boom, what's going on in here? Uh, simple clean, all right. Regular smuggler. okay. Boom, we're good. So we know majority of the other work is downstairs, man. So 20 minute video, I'm wrapping it up now. You see what we gotta do. Make sure the cleanest is um on the A game. You know what I'm saying? This ain't a time to be cute. You know what I'm saying? There's a time and a place for cute. Right now we gotta work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, man. We out.